Hey guys and welcome to this exciting tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how to create this really cool rolling text effect in After Effects with no plugins or any other third party programs. Without wasting any time, let's jump right into it. So with After Effects open, I'm going to create a new composition. I'm going to make, I'm going to call this rolling text and um, my resolution is 1920 by 1080 and my frame rate is 24 and um, 3 seconds duration which is super okay now we just want to create our text uh, so click on this uh, type tool when I write 13 letters uh, that represents after effects plus an underscore so 13 A's to say so let's do this 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 okay so now this is going to represent our words uh, in the next couple of minutes so let's just align it first so let's click this and whoops caps lock off and this thing here now we've got our letters aligned I'm going to do the same thing again but using the 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 type tool that is vertical so let's click on this little thing at the corner there and click on the vertical type tool and we're going to type in 13 letters uh, or the alphabet basically A to Z and then we're going to uh, include the, the underscore as well so so that we can use it uh, in alignment when we start to do that rolling text effect thing so looking good M and then N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z and then we're going to use the underscore as well and that we're good okay so we're going to use this to align whoops the caps is still on let's remove it okay we're going to use this to align all our text to the A so there's uh, there's our underscore there it's going to come in handy very soon but firstly I just wanted to change the color of this to like a white color so that it's easier to work with uh, when I'm aligning it so let's just click and then just change it right here I just double clicked on it by the way to open that color wheel thingy the color box there we go click on my text tool and I just need to move it and align it with the A the first one here and I'm also going to press ctrl D to duplicate all this alphabet and then just move it um, and align all the A's next to each other using my uh, my right arrow keys as well to make sure that it's they are nice and in alignment so let's just uh, press my right arrow key and I'm gonna press ctrl D and do this for the next 12 letters so I'm gonna fast forward in the next few seconds Okay, our letters are looking pretty good. Now we're gonna press Control R to open our ruler, and I'm going to drag my guides underneath the A. So make sure that the double-sided arrow is showing up, and then just drag, and then just make sure that this line is underneath the A's. So it's gonna come in handy very, very soon. Um, yeah, but before we do anything else, I wanna just create a new solid. Uh, it can be any color, it doesn't matter. So um, let's go to the top here. Let's go to layer, new, new solid. Uh, I'm going to call this one mask. And the color is fine, just hit OK. And OK, I just want to like hide it for a bit so that I can put my guideline so that I can use the mask uh, without having to guess where my letters are. So. I'm gonna do this as you can see I'm gonna make a rectangle around these A's so like that and then I'm gonna go to the end as well of the A's so whoops the side here here we go so now 
have my guidelines. Let's just make this visible and there we go. So I'm gonna click on my rectangle tool, making sure that my mask is selected. I'm gonna draw my rectangle in here to just hide my A's. So as you can see, the guides help you uh, draw the rectangle too. It just snaps in, into those guidelines, which is pretty, pretty handy, I think. Okay, so let's just hide this the mask because we don't really need to see it. Um, I also want to give and remove, actually, let me remove these first. But I want to give um, the, the, the mask a bit of breathing room from the A's because it looks very tight. So let's just double click on, on this little corner here. And I'm gonna drag this down a bit so that there's a little bit of space. There we go. Just a little bit. And at the top as well. And maybe on the sides too. Um, so that it's not touching. So I just want to give it like a few inches of space. There. I think that's that's fine. Yeah. That looks totally fine. Now the next thing that I want to do is to um, actually I need to hide. Uh, my my letters, the the A's that I use as a guide at first. So let's go to the bottom. So these letters at the bottom here. So let's just hide them because I don't really need them now. And then just minimize this one. Cool. Now let's just select on this second layer here and then go to our effects and presets. And I'm gonna search for set mat. Set mat. Okay. There we go, I'm gonna double click on it to activate it. And I'm gonna change a couple of things here. So I'm gonna change this here to mask. And I'm gonna change the source to effects and masks. There we go, then it just disappears. So I'm gonna copy this effect on all my text layers. So I'm gonna click on my set mat, press Control C to copy the effect. And I'm gonna press Control V on all my text layers so that it just pastes them on all of them. So press Control V on all of them, and then yeah, I'm gonna fast forward now. Amazing. Okay, now that we're done with this step, the next step that we wanna do now is to um, keyframe our position, right? So I'm gonna select my top text layer here and press Shift and click on the last one there, and press P to open position. And um, as you can see, only the A's are showing up, but we want the underscore to be showing first. So let's just put the guide here first by using our ruler, which is still there. See, that's gonna come in handy. And when I use the, the Y value to bring out the, um, the underscore. So we're gonna go dial it up towards the left so that our text or our letters go up until we reach our underscore. There we go. Our underscore. So let's do this really quickly until we get to our underscore so that we can start um, adding our letters uh, nicely. So whichever letter or word that you chose uh, will start off from the, um, the underscore basically as like a starting point. So we're almost there. T and U V uh, w, X, Y, and Z. Now the underscore is going to pop in right about now. There we go. Awesome. Okay, great. Now um, we can actually deselect all these layers as well because we're going to um, keyframe them. Or okay, put the keyframe first on all of them while they're still selected. And then we're going to minimize them and I'm going to deselect all of them click on just one here so cool so now all of them have got um, a keyframe at the beginning so we're gonna use like individual animations now to go with it so I'm gonna go to the one second mark and go to my first um, text layer here press P to open position and then just change this to um, a positive value so let's go towards the right to bring out A. So we're going to do this for all those underscores that you see right there. So depending on how many letters um, your word is or your words are, 
uh, will determine what letter you're going to use. So my first letter is A because I'm writing after effects. So, okay, so let me just keep on doing this until I get to A. And then the next letter will be F, then T, E, R, then underscore E, F, F, E, C, T, S. Okay, so let's keep on doing this until we reach A. There we go. Boom. Okay, now there's our keyframe, which is already showing up. That's cool. Now we're going to do this for the second layer here. So press P to open position. And we're going to start dialing it up until we reach the letter F, right? So uh, this is going to take a bit of time. So for the sake of time itself, I'm going to have to fast forward this so that, you know, you don't have to wait and see and watch me do this for a very long time as well. But you pretty much got the idea. Awesome. Seems like that we're done. So the next step now will be to highlight all my keyframes on the right. So right here, mm, I think actually I missed a couple of frames actually. I don't think I highlighted the ones at the top. Yeah, I didn't. I missed those five frames there. So let me start over here. So let's just highlight from here actually. There we go. And um, yeah, so it looks like I highlighted all of them, but on my canvas, I'm seeing that I missed the T and the R, and then the T and the S as well on the effects word. So that's odd. Mm. I need to just fix this real quickly. Actually, let me do this again. Let me just highlight all of them. I think it should be fine. It looks like I highlighted all of them. Yeah, I don't think I missed anything. Yeah, it looks fine, it's cool. So now we're just going to click on Graph Editor. Make sure that your graph looks like this. If it doesn't, just right click and then Edit Speed Graph. So highlight these and drag them to the bottom, bottom left, so up to this corner there. So make sure that your graph looks like this. All right, cool, let's just minimize these. And let's just close up our graph editor as well. And um, yeah, we're good. We're good. Now the next step actually is to offset each frame or each layer by one frame. So let's just do that real quickly and then we're pretty much done. So one frame and then we sorted. Cool. Now that we've offsetted, is that even the right word? But anyway, we've made the offset by one frame and our effect is taking a good look. Oh, it's, it's starting to look good actually. We're gonna just like ramp preview it and see if it's good. And um, I love it. And our animation is done. I hope you found this tutorial very helpful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like or comment in the section below. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and hit that notification button so that you'll be the first one to know when we drop a new video. With that, see you next time.